Are you struggling to deploy your Django app to Heroku, only to be met with a frustrating server error 500? You're not alone. Today, we're gonna to tackle this common issue and get your app up and running. I completely understand how disheartening it can be when you've put in so much effort into your app only to hit a wall at deployment. This is a common hurdle for many developers and we're here to help you overcome it. Let's dive into the specifics of your situation. You mentioned encountering a server error 500 when trying to access your app on Heroku. The logs indicate an issue, but we need to dig deeper to find the root cause. So, what does a server error 500 mean? Essentially, it indicates that something has gone wrong on the server side, but it doesn't specify what. This could be due to misconfigurations in your settings, issues with your database, or even missing files. Stick around because by the end of this video, you'll have actionable steps to resolve this error and get your app live on Heroku. Plus, I have a bonus tip that you won't want to miss. To begin resolving the server error, the user should check the Heroku logs for any specific error messages. This can be done by running the command Heroku logs tail in the terminal. Next, the user should ensure that the static files are being collected properly. This can be done by running the command python manage.py collect static before deploying to Heroku. The user should also verify that the white noise middleware is correctly configured in the settings.py file. This is essential for serving static files in production. Additionally, the user should check the database configuration. Ensure that the database URL is correctly set in the environment variables on Heroku. Finally, the user should set the debug setting to false in the settings.py file. This is important for production environments to avoid exposing sensitive information. Fun fact, did you know that Heroku was originally built to host Ruby applications? Now it supports a wide range of languages, including Python and Django. Now let's look at the answers provided by other users. One user faced a similar issue when deploying their app to Heroku they discovered that the problem was related to database migrations. To resolve it, they ran a specific command in the Heroku terminal. That's all on that answer. Let's take a look at another one. One user suggests checking your templates variable in settings. Ensure the dir's value points to the correct folder where your index.html or base template is located. They experienced a similar server error and found this to be the issue. They also ask if your admin interface works. If it does, this advice might help. If not, there could be other issues, like ensuring PsychOp G2 is installed and that you're using PostgreSQL in both local and production environments. That's it for that answer. Let's take a look at another one. One user faced a similar server error and found a quick solution. They suggest removing the line that sets the static file storage to gzip manifest static file storage. Instead, they recommend using static file storage from Django's built-in static files module. Now, let's see a response from a different user. One alternative solution to the server error is to temporarily set debug to true in your settings. This will provide more detailed error messages that can help identify the issue. That's it for that response. Let's explore another one. An alternative solution from another user suggests checking for any non-existing external files linked in your HTML. In their case, they had CSS files that were linked but had been deleted, which caused the server error. Here's a pro tip. Always check your Heroku logs for detailed error messages. You can do this by running the command Heroku logs tail in your terminal. This will give you real-time feedback on what's happening with your app. And there you have it. By following these steps, you should be able to resolve the server error 500 and get your Django app live on Heroku. If you found this video helpful, please subscribe for more tips and tricks.